Hello everyone. Today we will go through the vertical curve. Important question associated with transportation engineering and particularly we will deal with summit curve. And we are given a question is that a parabolic vertical summit curve connects a 4.5 grade with minus 3 percentage grade on a single lane with the two-way traffic in the ruler highway at a station 10 plus 525 and an elevation of 1212.6 meters above the mean sea level the curb should be designed to provide the intervisibility of a truck and car to avoid the head-on collision locate the starting point in point and highest point on the curb and calculate the elevation of these points along with a distance 60 meter left and right of the point of vertical intersection height of truck drivers i ascending along 4.5 percentage grade is 1.3 and that of car along 3 percentage grade is 1.1 meters the reaction time of the driver is 2.5 seconds and the coefficient of longitudinal friction is assumed to be 0 0.40 the truck is approaching at 40 km per hour and where the car is approaching at 80 kmps so friends we will solve this problem here we are presented the grade ascending grade n1 equals to 4.5 percentage the descending grade n2 equals to minus 3 percentage and if we solve this if we determine the deviation angle that come out to be 0 0.075 because n1 is ascending 4.5 minus minus 3 percentage so 4.5 plus 3 percentage that will give you us 7.5 percentage and we are given the height of the driver's eye in the truck is 1.3 meters whereas the height of the driver's eye in the car is 1.1 meters and the reaction time of the driver is given as 2.5 seconds the coefficient of longitudinal friction f equals to 0 0.40 and the velocity in the truck is 40 kmph and velocity in the car is given as 80 kmph. Now our aim is to find out the RL of these beginning of vertical curves as well as end of vertical curves as well as the point where the highest RL is found in the summit curve. Likewise we need to find out the RL of 60 meter left and right of the intersection point in the summit curve so this is the thing we need to find out here the truck and the car are approaching to each other okay so we need to find out the stopping side distance in this case where the truck and the car are approaching each other in a single lane and two-way traffic so we will find out the stopping side distance in this case so stopping side distance in this case will be the sum of stopping side distance of the truck as well as the stopping side distance of the car so if the truck is here the truck is moving along the grade of 4.5 percentage and the car is again moving along the grade of 3 percentage now we will just use the formula for the stopping side distance that is stopping side distance for the truck is 0.278 b into t plus b squared by 254 times f plus n1 since it is an ascending gradient so we have written the plus so first truck and we need to later on add the stopping side distance for the car that is 0.278 bt plus b squared by 254 f plus n2 this is the stopping side distance for the car since for approaching each other these will be moving up the summit curve isn't it since they will be moving to each other moving or approaching against each other so this f will be added al along with this grade so this is the formula for stopping side distance now if we solve this, we will get the stopping side distance as 156.14 meters. Now, we need to find out the length of the curve. For determining the length of the curve, we assume that length of the curve is greater than stopping side distance. Okay. 
So we have the formula L equals to NS square root over 2H1 plus root over 2H2 whole square. So if you just solve this, we will get the length of the curve as 190.79 meters and taking the value as 192 meters, we adopt the length of the curve as 192 meters. So we just assume that uh, it would be 192 meters. Now friends, we need to find out the areas of the beginning of vertical curve as well as the end of vertical curve. That is, we need to find out the RL of T1 and T2 respectively in the summit curve as shown in the figure. So, for determining the RL of beginning of vertical curve, that is point T1, we can just use this simple expression that is RL of IP minus N1 into L by 2. Since we all know that the RL of the intersection point is given and if you subtract this RL with this vertical distance, then we, we will easily get the value of RL or elevation of the beginning of vertical curve. So this will be com coming out to be 1208.28 meters. Similarly, friends, we need to find out the RL of end of vertical curve. So RL of end of vertical curve can again be find out with the same technique where RL of EBC can be given by RL of IP minus this grade times the length of this vertical curve divided by 2. Since we have this length, since the length of this vertical curve from this apex is L by 2 and this is L by 2. So if you solve this, then we will get the RL of EBC as 1209.72 meters. Now friends, we need to find out the RL or elevation of the highest point on the curve. For this, we need to locate this highest point of the curve from any point. So suppose we will just locate this highest point at a distance x from this beginning of vertical curve. So we need to find out this location. So let us suppose that it is located at a distance x from this beginning of vertical curve. Then it will be given by this formula distance of highest point from BBC equals to N1 times R and we need to substitute the value of N1 as 4.5 percent is that is 0 0.075 sorry 0 0.045 into R. R is given as L by N. So if you just solve this we will get the value of distance of the highest point from BBC equals to 115.2 meters. Now friends we need to find out the elevation of the highest point on the curve corresponding at a dis corresponding at a distance of 115.2 meters so we can use the formula for finding the elevation of any point on the curve equals to rl of bbc plus n1 into x minus y naught here with this y naught is the tangent correction that is given by x square by 2r and the rl of bbc is already known and we have already known the value of n1 into x and we will substitute the values of y0 is that is the tangent correction so if you solve this now we will be getting this rl of bbc plus n1 into x minus we have this r equals to l by n isn't it and then we will get n x square by 2l so if you Substitute the value of x equals to 115.20 that is the distance from the BBC where the highest point on the curve exists then we will get the elevation of the corresponding highest point on the summit curve equals to 1210.872 meters. Likewise friends we are also given that we need to find out the elevation of the point on the curve that is 60 meter right and left from the intersection point so for the 60 meter right of the intersection point we need to substitute the value of x equals to 96 plus no, 60 equals to 156 meters since this is the this length is l by 2 and if you are going to write if we are going right 60 meters then L by 2 plus 60 meters will be the total distance from this BBC. Now 
we need to substitute the value of x in the above expression and we can easily get the value of RL of 60 meter right of intersection point equals to 1210.547 meters. Likewise, for the calculation of RL of 60 meter left of intersection point, the distance from the BBC comes out to be 36 meters and if you solve by putting the value of x equals to 36 meters, then we will get the value of RL of the corresponding 60 meter left of the IP is 1209.647 meters.